couple things drawn out here. Um, first off, you'll see a green line um, that runs through the hash mark area near the face-off dots. Whenever the puck is below this, as it is in this case in the corner, you can see the puck with the opposition, and it's down low, what we're trying to do is create a four-on-three advantage for us. So this green box indicates our tight box, okay? And we're going to use this tight box for penalty killing. Um, this is our bread and butter down low coverage, okay? And, and, and again, the idea is that we outnumber the opponent. And if we outnumber the opponent, we can have a free guy that can slide, uh, much like you, you would in a lacrosse defense. Um, so I think, I think it's well suited for our team. And if we learn it and master it, then we're going to have a, a good defensive team. And that's, that's going to be very important, I think, for us. Um, again, when the puck is above, though, this green line, then we're going to go right to a man-on-man -man coverage. Right? So depending on where the puck is, we're going to change our defense. And we're just going to go from a 4-3 down low, rotate a guy out onto the points, and that's going to be our man on man. So here is our standard four on three down low coverage. When the puck is down here on this side, this is what we call the strong side. So we want to have one of our, our centers rotated out onto that point on the strong side. And we'll, what we'll be doing is basically leaving their weak side D um, as the furthest man away and, the, and he's the least threat to us. So that's, that's what we'll do in order to gain an advantage down low. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have we'll have our defenseman, you know, play good D. He, we don't want him to get beat. We want him to win the puck. Okay. So we're, we're we've got good coverage here, and we want to contain and always outnumber, no matter what, no matter where we where the puck moves. Okay. Want to keep strong, tight coverage. Let me get rid of the puck. So we, we'll just talk about it without showing it okay so wherever wherever these guys go and whatever they do we're gonna keep tight coverage on them and we're gonna maintain pretty much this box okay if the opposition is instead of being here is down low then this defenseman will pick him up and this this guy will be up here a little higher okay but still we're basically in a box. Um, let's say as these guys are, are are moving around, this guy starts to support down here. The puck is down here. He starts to support. Well, this guy will go follow him, and we'll still have our net presence here. Um, he'll follow him, and then at a certain point, he'll trade him off, and this guy will come and be our net presence and this guy will cover him okay and we'll maintain still maintain our our box look okay so that's what this does this enables us to make slight variations and changes depending on where the opposition is but still maintaining inside coverage okay so we want our body between that orange guy okay at all times if this guy has the puck down here and our defenseman gets beat and he starts to walk out with the puck and their opposition forward is up here and he's covered then we just simply slide our D there and we keep our coverage everyone's covered okay um, then hopefully this guy can get back into the play okay and he's gonna he's gonna report to the net all right so that's the one scenario so here we go we're back into our box again there's our basic box but let's just say that um, let's say this guy's down low this guy's here pucks over here and this guy gets beat again Okay, we're definitely not going to slide this guy down. If we do that, then we got a two-on-one right here between these two guys, and we got a good shot. So, 
will leave him covered. Okay, so we 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 don't really slide from the strong side. We slide from the weak side, and and, and lacrosse players know this. Okay, it's a common concept, but we've got to maintain that, and so we we use this guy as our adjustment guy. Okay, he'll come down and cover while we still maintain this presence. Okay, so we're leaving we're leaving this guy. And we're always pre-rotated out on this guy because we want to prevent that pass. Okay, so let's go back to the box real quick, like this. Him on the other side. We're always on the defensive side. Okay, so there's our box, and all of a sudden this guy comes up here. All right, and he is able to pass puck he's able to make a pass out to here okay the second that happens then we rotate into man on man okay so this guy comes out this guy presses up D gaps up on him. Ford's got his man. D's got his man. So now everybody is man on man now. All right? That's when the puck is above this green imaginary line. Okay? So that's how we play it. Up here, we're tight, man on man. If it goes down low, we want a four on three advantage. Okay?